This is the Quest of Sports update for the week of March 23rd, 2015. I'm Peter Schuler, and track and field hosts the 2015 Western State Conference Coast Meet this Friday. The meet is one of two track meets hosted by the WSC before the conference finals in mid-April. Quest is one of five teams competing in the WC Coast Meet, including Allen Hancock, Santa Barbara, Ventura, and Moore Park. The meet begins at 11 a.m. on Friday. Track and field attended two meets last week. On Thursday and Friday, the Cougars sent three decathletes to Westmont for the Westmont multi-event meet, and the rest of the team competed in the Santa Barbara Easter Relays on Friday. The Cougars combined to post seven new all-time top ten marks on the weekend. Both meets were non-scoring, however, the decathletes all cleared 5,000 points and qualified for the regional multi-event meet on April 7th and 8th. Decathlete Max Clark led Quest to track and field with two new top 10 marks last week. Clark scored 5,606 points in the decathlon and moved into 8th place all-time at Cuesta. He scored a lot of those points in the 100-meter dash, where his time of 11-11 landed in 10th place all-time at Cuesta. Thrower Nathan Smith and a pair of steeplers also added new marks for the men's team. Smith added a few inches to his season-best discus throw and now ranks 5th all-time, while sophomore Brandon Messerly and freshman Lawrence Stokes now rank 4th and ninth in the steeplechase. On the women's side, pole vaulter Augusta Thomason is ranked 3rd all-time at Cuesta after clearing 12 feet in Santa Barbara to win her event. Hurdler Roisin Andrews claimed the final spot on Cuesta's 100 hurdle list. Baseball, which began the 2015 campaign 0-6 added a pair of wins last week and reached 500 for the first time this season at 11-11. On Tuesday, the Cougars traveled to Woodland Hills to beat Pierce 5-2 and improved to 8-4 in Western State Conference play. Starting pitcher Alex Vigali enjoyed another strong outing before the win, while reliever James Canneberg earned the save. In their second win of the week, the Cougars were in Whittier to face number 7 Rio Hondo. Pitcher Brendan Jenkins earned the win 5-2 over the Roadrunners, However, he ended his school record scoreless inning streak at 37. Cannonberg pitched a scoreless final frame against Rio Hondo to pick up his second save of the week and fourth of the year. Baseball begins its second round of Western State Conference play this week. It starts off with local rival Alan Hancock. The Cougars host Alan Hancock on Tuesday and travel to Santa Maria to face the Bulldogs on Thursday. On Saturday, the Cougars head further south to face number 5, Santa Barbara. Softball opened last week with an easy win on Thursday in Woodland Hills against Pierce, 19-5. Outfielder Shai Huffstedler stepped into the pitching circle to earn the relief win. The victory moved the Cougars to 4-0 against the Western State Conference and 8-8 on the season, which marked the first time this season the Cougars have reached 500. On Saturday and Sunday, the Cougars lost three games and fell back below 500. On Saturday, the Cougars were swept in, double, by, in a doubleheader by Cabrillo, 6-1 and 9-7 and lost to Monterey Peninsula 22-1 on Sunday. Softball is on the road this week. The Cougars begin in Santa Maria on Tuesday against local rival Allen Hancock. The Bulldogs and Cougars are the last undefeated teams in the Western State Conference. On Thursday, the Cougars play another conference game in Ventura. Men's and women's swimming both finished second at the COS mini-meet in Visalia on Friday. The Cougars swam against both College of the Sequoias and Merced. Cuesta claimed eight individual title events four men and four women's, and were led by All-Americans Rachel Grutzmacher and Calvin Gonder. Grutzmacher won the 100 and 200 freestyles, as well as the 100 IM, while freshman Andy Miller added a title in the 500 freestyle for the women's team. Gonder led the men by winning the 500 and 1,000 freestyles, while Hassam El Effendi and Trevor Witsit added the 100 individual medley and 200 freestyles, respectively. The Cougars return to the Western State Conference schedule to swim at Bakersfield this Friday. That does it for your Quest of Sports update for the week of March 23rd, 2015. I'm Peter Schuler, and I will see you at the games.